Andres Hamed versus Kyer Del Busto. Let's go. And both men come out immediately yep. swinging. Kaiser in the southpaw stance, looking to back Idris up to the cage. And these boys are swinging for the fences. Yeah, I'm telling wasting you. Wasting no time. Kaiser is ready to make this oh! ball. A nasty left hand there by Kaiser. Yeah, when he connects, it is hard. Idris is doing a good job of uh, kind of keeping his distance as Kaiser tries to run in and make it a clinch fight. And Kaiser's got to be careful dipping under like that because yeah. Andres is no slouch to throw in those nasty and devastating kicks. Right. That could be a short night if one of those land. And I, gotta, I don't like how Kaiser is breathing with his mouth wide open and kind of clenching and playing around with his mouthpiece, but it doesn't seem to be bothering him much right. as he's looking to get Andres to the ground here. But as you were saying, he, his big head movements as he's dipping down low, it looks like it, Idris is really able to see those shots coming. And those big explosive movements are going to play a factor into this fight later on. Yeah, and those... so he's got to slow mm -hmm. down the frantic pace and really settle into his movements. And he is just missing with that overhand yeah. right each time. It seems like Kaiser really wants to get in there and try and get a takedown, but Idris is just not for it right now. And Kaiser clinching up against the cage, but Andre's doing a great job. Yeah, he's so physically out. strong and able to just kind of push him off. As Kaiser's mouth breathing quite a bit more now here. And it seemed like Kaiser had the stronger pace early on, but as we mentioned, that pace is seemingly catching up with him at this point, giving address the advantage yep. here yeah. on the feet. As you can see, Kaiser's on his back foot now, as opposed to the beginning of the fight where he was coming forward with huge shots. But man, Idris's fight stance is so narrow. Yeah, it's, it's a very Muay Thai stance. And delivering some yeah. nasty knees to the body. Those knees are devastating. Those had to have taken some energy out from Kaiser. But Kaiser comes back with a nasty overhand right, but Andres has him up against the cage, looking to make a statement to cap off round he's, one. He's looking to get the finish early, throwing some hooks. Kaiser's way able to withstand to the what second What a way round. to put a statement on the end of that first round. Wow. These boys are not playing around. They're ready to come in here and PFC get a Texas <laughs> has not disappointed thus far. And it's only the second fight of the night. And as we take a look at the replay here, we'll see if they bring it up. But it was really, you know, Kaiser with those explosive movements early on, dipping his head under, but landing a few overhand yeah, rights. Yeah. But it was at, towards the end of that fight, Idris really kept his composure and put the pressure on Kaiser, which ultimately caused Kaiser to almost crawl up into that ball at the end of that first round. Let's see how much Kaiser has recovered as we get ready to start round two. straight down the middle from Idris. That's what he has to utilize here, is just those long straight punches if he wants to oh, keep doing what he's doing to Kaiser here. Kaiser is a gamer though. When he lands, he lands hard. And you can tell his game plan is really to get on the inside of Idris because Idris' yeah. range is so long, yeah. but he's, he's doing a great job at as he's closing the distance, landing those looping punches that are gonna pay dividends. Oh, Kaiser has double underhooks now, but Idris is able to frame off and land those huge knees. Kaiser looking to push the fight up against the cage, but Idris doing a great job at circling out. 
beautiful one-two down the middle from Idris. And Kaiser's got to get his head off of that center line. He's got to get yeah. some head movement going because Idris is going to pick him apart at, if he stays at this range. Oh, man. And he is Idris landing is some shots, off. but Kaiser fires back. Spinning back fist by Kaiser doesn't land. Idris is still backing Kaiser up to the cage. Beautiful exchange by Idris. Kaiser is feeling those body shots. I can tell in his face. It's wearing him down. And you can tell he's having a hard time even getting those teep kicks up. And these shots are not good. Because yeah. Kaiser wants to get in, but I, when he does get in on Idris, Idris is able to land those beautiful clinch And strikes. he's coming in with that same entry every single time. He's not mixing yeah. up that entry. Idris continues to land some flurries. Forty-five seconds to go in round number one. Idris Hamed versus Kaiser oh. Del Busto. Kaiser's head snaps back on that left hook by Idris. Oh, and he lands. Kaiser lands coming forward. He's got to be careful though on that head movement. Yeah. As he's coming in like that. Yeah, Kaiser's hands are getting lower as the fight goes on. He's got to be careful with that. Straight Every one. single yep. time yep. that head is getting snapped back. Yep. Just that simple one-two down the middle for my Dries is just landing beautifully. That's the end of the second round. Much of the same as we saw in the first round. Kaiser Del Busto doing lots of crazy head movement, mm -hmm. trying to close the distance and get in on Adris Hamed, and Adris Hamed sticking to the game plan and picking his shots from the outside. Yep. Montana, walk us through the replay. So Kaiser tries to come in with the teep. Adris is just doing very well at his range and just finding those long straight punches. Beautiful knees by Idris here in the clinch. Every time Kaiser tries to come in, Idris is able to frame off and land some beautiful strikes. As we get set for round number three, Idris Hamed, Kaiser Del Busto, PFC Texas. Oh, nice two down the middle by Idris. Beautiful That's overhand it. right by Kaiser lands on Hamed. Yeah, he is still landing. <laughs> and Hamed doing a beautiful job mm -hmm. at landing those combinations, keeping his range, and look at the mouth breathing of Kaiser. Oh, Kaiser lunges in for a takedown, but. Idris is out of there. I, I would really like to see Kaiser start to mix up his strikes a little bit. He's got to get more creative. I got to assume he's down on the judges' scorecards. Yeah. Two rounds right now. He really needs a finish in this third and final round. Montana, give me your thoughts on the fight thus far. Yeah, and Kaiser's kind of, he's still dropping his hands, and he's coming in with one kick, and it's its making it easy for Idris to just land these basic one-twos down the middle. I mean, it's just the range of Idris that Kaiser's having trouble with right now. But, I mean, he's, Kaiser is still landing hard. He's still in this fight. 
mean, Kaiser just has to make this fight nasty just how he's doing right now. He does so well. At oh, oh, beautiful head kick. I think he's got to get his hands up now. And he has got to continue to bite down on that mouthpiece and make a statement that he is still in this fight. Yeah, less than one minute to go here. I would think Kaiser needs a finish here. And again with the straight two. And just misses with that nasty hook. Yeah. He is making it a dog fight, but Idris is still able to land these beautiful knees in the clinch as Kaiser's pushing, it, pushing him into the cage. And this is not where Kaiser wants to be with just under 30 seconds to go in the third and final round. Beautiful knees by Idris once again. Does a great job at circling out. 15 seconds to go. Absolute war. Judge ringside, Ruben Corion scores about 29 to 28 for Irish Men. Judge James Moreno scores about 30 to 27 for Bustos. And Judge Nexus Navarro scores about 30 to 27. And your winner by split decision, the Palestinian Hammer! Through the punches where they landed, and when he wanted to grapple, I can grapple too. So we were ready. It seems like you never wavered from the game plan. What exactly was the game plan coming in? Was it to stay on the outside and pick them apart? Talk to me a little bit about your preparation for the camp. Sure, we're gonna keep our distance, hit him with the one two. If he wants to get it close, we can fight close. I really want to give a shout out to my coach Bubba Bush, uh, I'll tell me everything I know at BVMMA. My sponsor, Performance Nutrition in Texas, for getting me right and making this work kind of easy. Appreciate you guys. How soon can we expect to see you back here inside the cage? I don't know if you've heard.